Howdy everybody, my name is Trey and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do another what sold on eBay video and uh, I'll show you everything that sold in the last week. So let's get into it and I'll take you over to my computer screen. Okay, so first up we have this Motorola Razor flip phone. Uh, I got this at an estate sale. I think I paid four or five dollars for it. Um, I sold it once for 25 but they couldn't get it activated, so they sent it back. So I decided to just sell it for parts, and I sold it for $16. Um, I did free shipping on it, and it's out the door, and I'm probably not going to pick those up again. I thought that uh, flip phones might be a good idea, but I think I'm just going to leave them alone from now on. Next up, we've got a brushed nickel towel bar. This towel bar, I, I paid $1 at Lowe's for probably about 15 towel bars, a dollar a piece. I've still got two more available. They sell slowly, but for a dollar, I mean, it's pretty good, uh, pretty good return. And I ship these in, uh, USPS has triangle boxes that are really long to put uh, like posters and stuff like that in. So these actually fit in a triangle box, so they're easy to ship. I can use a USPS box for that. Next up, I've got a little Easter cottage. I have about seven, I think, different ones. Uh, this is the only one that's sold so far. I bought these back when I had an, an antique booth, and they sat in my antique booth through Easter. None of them ever sold. I think I had them priced at like $12 or something. And so they've been sitting in a box forever. I pulled them out and the little cottages, I've only sold one of, which is this one right here. But there was also some napkin rings that I sold about a month ago, I think. And that's about it. I've still got these things listed and I don't know if they're going to go this year. I've got them on sale right now trying to move them. This is a Wrangler shirt that I picked up at... Walmart. I got these for a dollar a piece. They were clearancing them out and it's new with tags. I got probably 20 different ones and they've just kind of been selling over time. And I've got, I think I got one more of these left that I need to get listed. Next up is a witch witch game. Somebody actually posted in a group I'm in called the green room that he had just sold this game and, and people, you know, the prices have gone up on it and you should get yours listed. I had this in a bin and I needed to check it out and make sure all the pieces were there and I was just putting it off. So after he posted that, I jumped on it and got it listed and it sold. So $60 plus $15 shipping. Next up, I've got an Electronica Game & Watch. Uh, these were... These were knockoffs of the Game & Watch by Nintendo. Um, and it's it, the battery compartment was clean. I think I showed this in one of my videos. I picked up two. I picked up this one, and then I picked up an actual Nintendo Game & Watch. So this one sat for a while. Somebody sent me a, a message and asked me if I would take $40 for it. And I said, sure, because I think I had $5 in it. So I sold it for $40, not $51.98. But I did get $3 shipping. Alan Flusser, this is a shirt that I picked up at an estate sale. I paid, I want to say $5 for it. I don't normally mess with this brand because it's kind of a Robert Graham wannabe brand. Um, the, but this one was really nice and the colors were really vibrant. Kind of a really wild shirt. I listed it. It sold in one day. Next up, I've got some PS2 video games, and I really didn't want to sell these. I was going to pull them down because I have a PS2 I was going to bundle it with. And before I could get them pulled down, I got busy and they sold. And I had them on sale too. $14.38 cost me probably $8 to ship. There was just no easy way to ship them. Wouldn't fit in a flat rate uh, um, bubble wrap mailer. Wouldn't fit in a in anything that was easy. So I wound up having to just put it in a regular box and ship it. So it wound up costing me more than I really wanted. Next up, I have a guest watch. Oh man, this watch, I bought this watch for my wife for Christmas. 
and she absolutely hated the watch. So she said she wanted to watch a guest watch. I went and I bought her one, but this was obviously not her style or what she wanted or something. I don't know. So I took it back. Well, at some point, the battery quit working 30 days later when I took it back, and they accused me of breaking the watch, and they wouldn't take it back. I will never, ever buy anything from Guess again because uh, I got into an argument with the manager. I tried uh, filing complaints. I did everything because I was so mad about it. And finally, I brought it home. I sat in a box for a year because I was so mad. I just threw it in a box and forgot about it. And then I found it the other day and I put a battery in it and of course it works just fine. So somebody, I paid $55 for it. Somebody sent me a message and asked me if I'd take 57 and I said, Abs absolutely, I'll take 57. I, I want this gone. So it's gone. I got $57 for it. Life goes on. Next up, I have a Lesney Matchbox Chevy Impala Taxi. It is played with, it's a little beat up, um, but it still had the taxi sticker on it. And uh, I, and people restore these, they'll take them and restore them. So I sold it for $9 for a single car and I got $4 shipping on it. Next up is a, this is a battery charger. Actually, I had somebody buy this. Uh, I said, I talked about it in my last video somebody bought it thinking it was a battery then realized it was a charger and they were they backed out of the sale so i relisted it and it sold this week and so it it is gone i've already mailed this out so i bought these for three dollars a piece i think at in a big huge lowe's lot that i got okay i want to talk a little bit about computer parts because i don't really sell computer parts but I really needed to upgrade my computer. And the reason that my videos have been so sporadic lately was because my computer was absolute crap. It couldn't render videos. It was running way too slow. It bogged it down real bad. I had glitches after glitches and trying to make a video was just excruciating. It took forever. So finally I gave up because I needed to go ahead and upgrade my computer. I finally got all the parts in, I got all my stuff upgraded, and then after I did, I pulled the pieces out and I listed them on eBay, because I thought, well, I may as well list the parts and send them, you know, get money for them, at least that'll help pay for my computer. So this actually sold, this is a uh, video card, I sold it for $15 plus shipping, uh, that's already out the door and gone. I still have this listed, these are the memory modules, um, these were, I think it's eight gigabyte total. Yeah, eight gigabyte. They're two four gigabyte sticks. Memory works. There's nothing wrong with it. I got it listed for twenty dollars plus shipping. I'll probably have to come down a little bit on that. Maybe around seventeen, and they'll go. Um, and then I went ahead and listed the motherboard with the processor and all the extra stuff that went with it. And I'm trying to sell it in one lot at eighty dollars. Now I don't know that I'll get $80 for it, but the chip alone is worth about $50 to $55. So I figured probably another 20 on the motherboard and I'm doing fast and free shipping. So I added another, another $10 to ship it. So we'll see what happens with this. Hopefully it'll sell. But if you add it all up, there's what, uh, 80, 90, $115 that I'm going to get back that helps me pay for the parts that I upgraded my computer with. So, okay, next up, I wound up buying a whole bunch of slot cars and three of the slot cars, I don't know what happened. They didn't get listed when I listed all the slot cars back a year ago. Somehow they got misplaced. They were in a different box. I ran across them the other day. And so I put them up for, uh, for sale. This one, it needs new tires, but it's, it is very desirable and uh, this one also had no motor. It had the chassis, but the motor in it, so in, in it was gone. If it had had the motor, I probably could have got closer to like $30 for it, but uh, I still got $20 plus shipping for it. And there was no broken uh, windows or anything like that. It was in really good shape, just needs tires. 
this one I sold, it was not in as good a shape. The rear spoiler is loose and there's a sticker that's supposed to be on there that says shadow and it didn't have it. It also needed new tires, but it did have the motor with it. I put it up for $12.97. This one sold within 10 minutes of me listing it. So I probably listed it a little too cheap, but that was about the going rate on these. So I don't feel too bad about it. This was great. I think I showed this in a haul video. Uh, I was at an estate sale, walked into the bedroom. This was laying on the bed. And immediately I knew mid-century uh, seat cushion. I looked around for the back to see if maybe there was a back cushion too, but there wasn't. This was the only thing that was there. I wound up paying $7 for it. And it sold about a week after I listed it. And I got $31.47. I had, 10, I had it at a 10% off sale. Thirty-one forty-seven plus five dollars shipping, and it's gone and out the door, and really easy to ship because I just shipped it in a poly bag. Pioneer Woman bacon and egg salt and pepper shakers. These went on clearance at Walmart. I ran across them. They were sitting on an island. The problem with these is there's no plastic covering the salt and pepper shaker. They're actually just kind of snapped in here. So these get chipped up really bad. There was several of them that were chipped up pretty good. So I left those and just took the ones that were in really good condition. I paid, I wanna say I paid 250 or $3 a piece for them. And I sold uh, one of them, I still got one listed, but I sold it for 12.97, full, full asking price plus $4 shipping. And uh, no, I take that back. She offered me $10, that's what it was. She offered me $10 and I went ahead and took it because I had the $4 shipping on it. So there you go. Okay, these were great. These were, I found these at, a, at an estate sale. I paid, I think I paid $2 for them. These are Sony Walkman headphones and they're probably, I would say probably from the 80s. Uh, they were in great condition. There was no uh, battery corrosion or anything like that in the battery compartment. I put batteries in them and they worked right away. So listed them at uh, twenty three ninety seven, um, and let's see. I think I think she asked me if I would take twenty dollars plus shipping, and I said yes. So I got twenty bucks for them and I had two or three dollars in them. That was it. Next up is Lawnmower Blades. Uh, I've talked about these before. I bought these at the end of the season last year from Lowe's. I paid $3 for every set that I bought and I've just slowly been selling them. They even sold in the winter time. I sold three or four sets during the winter time, um, but now they're picking up steam and now they're really starting to sell. So I sold it for $20 full price plus $10 shipping. Next up is a Spider-Man comic. I've been trying to sell some of my comic books from my personal collection, and I haven't been very good about getting them all listed, but this one was listed. I got full asking price, $10 plus $5 shipping. And these are really easy to ship. I have cardboard that's cut specifically for comic books, and I just put this in a bag with a board in it, and then I put a sandwich it in cardboard, and then I, I uh, ship it in a manila envelope and I write do not bend on it and every one of them has made it to its destination with no problems. Okay, this was another Walmart clearance. I was going to send these into Amazon, but the uh, I was gated in this, I think. It was really weird. I was There was another Star Wars one that I was not gated on and I didn't really look at them. I just grabbed them all. But this one, I couldn't sell for some reason, or it wasn't listed or something. I can't remember. But uh, it was no big deal. I just listed it on eBay. $12.97, free shipping. I think I paid $1.50 or $2 per three pack. So um, still good profit, and they don't sell very fast, but it's Star Wars. It'll sell. And then last up, this was another Walmart clearance, actually. Um, these were, I walked into a Walmart and these were on an end cap and they were blowing these out at $5 each. So it's a four slice toaster 
retro looking. I mean, they're great toasters. We I even kept one and we use it. So these were five dollars a piece in the box, still brand new. Um, and I sold one for twenty five twenty four ninety seven plus eight dollars shipping. And I went ahead and boxed it up, weighed it, and I did calculated shipping on it. So eight dollars for me. They they don't live very far from me. So. All right, so there you go. That's everything that I sold on eBay this last week. Um, it was kind of a light week. I really thought that it was going to be better, but for some reason, sales have just not been up that that much. So I am hitting it hard, getting a lot more stuff listed so that I can get my sales up. And uh, so hopefully next week we'll have a few more things to show. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, please like. Uh, send me a comment if you have any questions or anything uh, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to me and I will see you soon.